magician closes its doors after 30 years. Let me tell you why I think this is a massive W for gamers and why other gaming companies should be worried about what happened to Volition. For those that don't know, Volition was known for Saints Row. And if you remember when Saints Row came out, it was a major competitor to Grand Theft Auto. Saints Row 1, Saints Row 2, some people don't like Saints Row 3, but Saints Row 3 to me was pretty cool. It was a different map and it was a different idea. But then after Saints Row 3, everything went to hell in a handbasket. It was just stupid at that point. Many years go by, everybody's still talking about Saints Row 2, everybody's still talking about Saints Row 1, and even Saints Row 3. Then one day we wake up, Saints Row Reboot is coming out. The whole gaming environment changed. Everybody was excited. Volition was back in business. We actually thought that this game was going to take down GTA 5 Online or compete with GTA 5 Online. Now, this game had major setbacks. It had a lot of delays. We were okay with that because we thought they were going to make an awesome game. So as the release date got closer, we got hit with another delay. And the delay was, we want to make this game better and an overall better experience for the player. That was their excuse. Come to find out later down the line, this game was going to be atrocious terrible and just straight garbage there was no love in this game there was nothing this game is what they call woke and it was beyond woke volition destroyed the saints row franchise i wish this game would have never came out and my memories of saints row one two and three would just be of that memories good times a gaming company that wasn't afraid to put the limits it wasn't afraid to offend somebody but instead they proceeded and gave us this garbage. Once this game came out, people played it for about a day or two. They stopped playing it. They dropped a Twitter saying that this company was gonna downsize and they were gonna move to another company but Volition was gonna, you know, eventually step down. And now as of recent, Volition has closed the doors, effective immediately. Now why is this a W for gamers? Because this says that the gamers aren't gonna tolerate the same garbage that you keep putting out time and time and time again. We are not gonna play trash. We do not accept trash. That's what this was. This was thrown together garbage with a stupid storyline beyond belief. Talking about how we got to get the rent money. Talking about how everything was just so woke and Karens are all over the city. It was terrible. This game was trash. And it still is trash. This game has had two DLCs. And I guarantee you that's watching this video had no idea that this game had two DLCs. I bet you didn't even know that. Nobody cares. This game is garbage. People don't want garbage games no more. We want real games. We want complete games. We want fun games. We want games that can offend you. We want games that we can get immersed in. We want games that have soul. We want games that are fun. We want games that are just a great time and a great reality escape. Now, I remember when this game first came out, this was dead on arrival. As soon as I read a tweet, there will be no multiplayer. If you make a game in 2023 with no multiplayer, it's dead on arrival. Story can only get you so far. You play a game once, you play it twice, hell, even three times. You don't want to play the story over and over again. The online continues the life. They killed the life immediately before this game even came out. Why should other companies be worried about this? Well, hopefully, this will let other gaming companies and developers know we the people are not going to tolerate garbage. And if you're not going to sell and your company does bad, well, then you should be like every other company and go out of business. Not to mention Bethesda just dropped Starfield. That game, I'm going to be honest is not that good, not that exciting. I have played all the Fallout games, I played Oblivion, I played Skyrim. This is pretty much Fallout 
in outer space, but not the good fallout. I don't really know what's going on with that Starfield, and it kind of bums me out because Bethesda is an almighty name. And I was watching a streamer earlier today, Starfield is Life, and he brought up a very valid point. Would you buy this game, Starfield, if it wasn't made by Bethesda? And I'm going to tell you what, I would never even have known it existed. I would have never even looked at that game. And I guarantee a lot of you guys would not even have looked at that game if Bethesda never made that game. That was a very valid point. And I feel like Bethesda dropped the ball tremendously. The game, it's broken on all accounts. It's not that good. So for Volition to pack up its doors after 30 years is a good thing. They are no longer going to take a shit on the Saints Row legacy. I mean, after three, I don't know what that company was thinking because, my God, it got bad. It got worse. And then the reboot came out was not good at all. It was, it was terrible. I'm happy that Volition is not in business, so they can't make stupid games like this anymore. Now, does it suck that developers don't have a job? They're out on the streets? Yeah, that sucks. That, that sucks. Well, that's also reality. If you're not producing, if you're not making good stuff, you got to move on and do something different. That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be in the same spot putting out the same shit, still being in that same spot. You just can't do it. You got to keep the wheels moving. You got to keep going. Hopefully, this will inspire people to make better games. Hopefully, this will inspire people to make games that people want. Games that will last forever. Because nowadays, games, they suck. They die within a week. They die within a month. They're not that exciting. This is my take on Volition. Thank you for listening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Jack Knight Finnegan, subscribe, like, and comment for more gaming information.